You know, when it comes to space exploration in the U.S., the footprint of NASA in Ohio looms large. NASA Glenn here in Cleveland has played a role in the most famous of space missions, including its current efforts to return to the moon. News 5's John Kosick tells us the agency's impact is felt throughout Northeast Ohio. NASA Glenn makes a list of Ohio's top 100 employers, even if barely at number 96. Don't be fooled, though. The quiet economic engine of the space giant goes beyond its roughly 3,300 good-paying jobs, many of them scientists and engineers, to the jobs it supports in Northeast Ohio outside of these gates, another 8,400. Folks like John Zoldak of Zen Technologies. What I have here is some hardware that we flew to the International Space Station. They are a contractor to NASA Glenn, employing about 250 employees in Middleburg High since 1957. We've flown over 400 experiments to the International Space Station with Glenn. We flew 250 different pieces of hardware last year to the ISS. Without NASA Glenn, he says these are jobs that wouldn't exist in Cuyahoga County. Same can be said for Main Thea Technologies in Cleveland. There are 80 employees providing the behind the scenes support work that keeps this place operational. When everything goes well, you don't know we're here. There is one problem that they have though that's beyond their control. We're having a difficult time finding uh, the technicians. Uh, your college graduates are easy to find. The universities in the area produce a lot of engineers but to find the next generation of skilled labor um, has been very challenging. That's one of the reasons both of these companies were here at NASA Glenn this day, meeting with Senator Sherrod Brown and NASA officials, but more importantly, Cleveland area high school students, letting them know that theirs is a future that could start here. Deputy Administrator and former astronaut Pam Melroy telling the students that over a century ago, the greatest minds in the world were in a race to figure out flight, but it was a couple of bicycle mechanics from Ohio, the Wright brothers, who beat them to it. And I wanted to look every kid in the face and say, you could invent the next amazing thing that will transform aviation or space. Count Rubin and Lewis is in. Is this something you consider a career in? Yes, especially yes. Especially doing air pumps and all that, Mach 10, helping planes and helping the air traffic at the same time, it's quite nice. Lewis, though, says his eventual dream has evolved for practical reasons. As a kid, I always wanted to be an astronaut to go up into space, but heights have been a little iffy for me, so I think I'm gonna stay on the ground and work on designing. With 11,000 jobs in and around this place, there's a good chance he'll eventually find one. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5. So exciting, right? NASA's current efforts include trying to send humans back to the moon and then onto Mars. Artemis 1 orbited the moon late last year. NASA Glenn worked on the Orion capsule and the service module. And in Sandusky, a test facility there played a key role in making sure all the equipment was ready for space. And the current plan is to eventually build infrastructure on the moon. So NASA Glenn's working on the power system there.